today we're going to paint a rose. It's going to be really speeded up. This is eight times as fast as I usually work. So let's get started. We're going to go through this really fast. But if and if you want to slow it down, you can touch the right hand uh, top of the screen. And um, if you're on YouTube, it'll let you control how quickly this painting goes by. Wow, we're we're going quick here. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm demonstrating how, what to do with a value card with lights, mediums, and darks. I'm going to load this up later, and it's going to go much slower and have a much slower narration to it. But um, I wanted to be able to get this out so that you could see very quickly how to be strategic about a painting. So what I start out with is I have a light column, a medium column, and a dark column. And the only rule is that any colors that I put in have to fit into those columns. They have to fit. If they violate or don't work in terms of value with each other, then they can't be in the column or they can't be in the painting. So the light is established and the darks, here come the mediums. All right, I check them with a the value finder and I see that they all work. All those mediums are not as light as the light and, all, and they are not as dark as the dark. That's the only rule here. Now I made a yellow dab, which I put in both the light and the medium because I needed to check which, which column did it go in. And it turns out that it goes in the medium column, not the light column. So I'm not going to use it as a light. I'm going to use it as a medium. I'm working with a 140 pound um, cold press and uh, it's a uh, arch paper with a number 12 flat brush. So here are all the mid-tones going in, all those oranges and yellows. I dry everything, and now I'm going back to my dark. My, I can find, a, I can see there were a few darks that needed to be put in. The only rule here is that the dark can't be a medium and it can't be a light. Otherwise, I can put it in as long as it is as dark as some, anything else in the dark column. Now I mixed up a neutral. Same rule applies. Now you'll see I put it in the medium column and the dark column. That's because I wasn't sure where it should go. Once I put it on the paper, I could see that it belonged in the medium column. So I'm using that neutral as a medium. So mo I'm using more neutrals, I mean more mediums than any other colors in this painting. There are a few lights and a few darks, but mostly mediums. And I established them based on making these, using that value card. And there I used it again. I want to make sure that my darks in the background are as dark as what I've already put in so things are consistent. Because if I'm not consistent and I do something that isn't consistent with what I've done already, then every other decision I made up until now will be violated and the painting will look um, skewed. So I just wanted to show that this is a strategic way of going about a painting. Looking at the light shapes, the medium shapes, and the dark shapes, using a value finder or squinting your eyes so that you're clear about where you're putting those different colors and that they match the shapes that you're putting them into, and slowly build a painting that is not haphazard and that, is, and that you don't make decisions on the fly. You've already decided ahead of time exactly what path you're going to take and not violate the rules. And you'll find more success in your paintings this way. I'm not suggesting that everybody should do this. Everybody has their own method. There's a million different ways of doing these things. This just happens to work for me and I find it really enjoyable and surprisingly relaxing. So please join my YouTube channel and remember to keep the whites of your paper white, your paints wet, and ask for value mixture color. And I will see you next time. Okay, bye-bye.